Oh, girl, with this heat wave, mama needs more shorts. I think I'm gonna go place an order. And order confirmed. Hey, I got an order for an Ashley Gato over here, the Gymshark Special. Oh, hell yeah. Hey. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Have no fear, no Gymshark was harmed in the making of that skit. I know what you're thinking, that pizza box looked janky as But we taped the grease, okay? We lined the pizza box. So guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my favorite Gymshark shorts. Ones that I specifically like for certain types of exercises. As I'm sure we all know by now, Gymshark is really good with having you covered for every type of training. Whether it's CrossFit, powerlifting, running, just weight training, everything, they got you covered in every department. So today I'm gonna be sharing with you some of my favorites and why I choose certain shorts for certain types of training. Huge thank you to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video. Do not forget to give this video a like. Hit that subscribe button because there's a ton more awesome future videos to come. And it helps your girl out more than you know. <sighs> Bay's a little bit jealous of Jim the Shark. Not gonna lie, okay? I talk about Jim the Shark all the time and I don't talk about Bay all the time, so he's jello. All right guys, so let's see what shorts we're looking at. I'm telling you, these are the top of the line in my opinion when it comes to Gymshark. The best, the high qualityest. I got six shorts here. I narrowed it down for you, baby. Toss me a random one, babe. Let's get it started. Come on, baby. Oh, what? Ah! The Fit Seamless shorts did, in fact, make it to my favorites list. So a few weeks ago when Gymshark had their big sale, this is when I actually gave these the true chance that they deserved, all right? I was trying them out in the gym. I was testing them out. I was seeing what they got, what they had to offer, and damn dude my mind was a little bit blown and i was kind of mad at myself for not giving them this kind of attention early on first and foremost can we talk affordable as hell these are only 30 dollars they're stinking cute you got the really nice gripped band very elastic they are labeled low rise but on me they're coming up more of like a mid rise straight up i think it's my short torso i don't know overall fit like i love that it doesn't give me this crazy quad muffin i hate Quad muffins, man. That just ruins my day. On the site, they say that these are great for cardio. I actually don't use these for cardio though. <laughs> these are my everyday casual, like calisthenic type of work. Ultra comfort, doesn't move around on you. For my yogis out there, when you got that day of pure stretch and feeling yourself, I personally think that these are perfect for that. They are buttery freaking soft. They got that grip liner, like I said before, so it's not going anywhere when you're in downward dog. Yo booty crack ain't gonna be cracking a smile at anybody anytime soon. So these are awesome for that. These are one of the most comfortable shorts that I've ever put on from them. The buttery softness is out of this freaking world and it feels and like looks, straight up looks like the shorts were painted on. That's how it looks to me. That's how grabby, soft, and huggy they are. I think they're really flattering on the peach as well. Just saying. So yeah, for yoga and calisthenics, the fit is the shit. Baking fast. Do new one. Come on, come on. Mm. All right, guys. So if I had to pick a pair of shorts specifically for glute day, like when I want my glutes to look fire, I'm not here to mess around, girl. It's going to be none other than the power. They bring power to the boots, hey. Let me tell you why. If you don't already know, well now you're about to know, that the scrunch butt on these are the most bodacious scrunch butt in all of Gymshark history. <laughs> Woo! Oh, they make the peach look fat with a PH fat. I loved these from the get-go. When they first launched them, I was like, holy shit. These are my peachy days. I want the world to know I got a fat one even if I don't. These are also totally like yoga East buttery soft vibes. So they're really comfortable. They don't 
dig in and give the quad muffin. I have to be very clear with that. Like the ones I chose, there's reasons behind it. And I really appreciate the fact that you don't dig into my quads. You're very comfortable. I love you. This is something I would just dead ass wear like leg day, lifting weights, hip thrusts. This is not something I would do crazy like hip movements in, bunch of bouncing around type of movements because really fast movements, it, it, the material kind of makes its way up into my private parts, but real like lower key where you're just kind of like squatting with weight, that kind of thing. The power is just so good for that. It's ultra comfortable and it just, it just sits so well in the body. It's an emphasis on those glutes and we all know that's pretty damn important. <laughs> These are high-waisted, which I also prefer in shorts and leggings in general. I like feeling when I'm working my lower body especially, I like to feel secure and I like having enough material coming up my torso. Like I just like that feeling of being secure around the core area. And over. And under. <laughs> Sharky, let go. Let go of the training shorts. God, come on, Jim the Shark. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hurt Jim the shark. All right guys, so let's talk the loose fit training shorts, shall we? Yet again, on the more affordable side. Underrated as well, in my personal opinion. The loose fit training shorts. They have the band, like similar to the fit that you saw first. They also have the grip liner inside. Unlike a lot of their looser fitted shorts, these do not have anything built in like Spanx or anything like that. If you're somebody who wants to feel like they're wearing literal air like nothing on their body these are so fine for that i get so many compliments when wearing these in my videos that people are like, well, which one are those which one are those? they're the training loose fit they just cascade over you like they're barely touching you girl but yet they're there these alone just by themselves are really good for home-based workouts where you're just in the privacy of your own home going out and about these are really versatile like that being that these are loose fit and there's no built-in spanx also gives you the liberty to add your own spanx which is you, you just block my light if you love these shorts but you hate the fact that there's no liner in them then have no fear okay you can also grab what i personally love to grab are the training short shorts they're on the real short side these go perfectly right underneath in case you need that little bit of extra security you need some private part protection then you can definitely do it with these these are loose enough to be comfortable to have your built-in shorts underneath because girl there's no scarier feeling than being up on that leg press and realizing you ain't got nothing going on underneath your loose fits that's a scary thing. Or if you are a runner or you live in a little bit of a cooler climate, you can also grab their 7 eighths, just the regular training leggings. And you could also put that underneath here as well. So I love the training loose fit for that reason. You can make these basically whatever you need, depending on your preference and what you're training. So guys, I would definitely classify these as my lifestyle go-to versatile pieces that you can wear pretty much all year round. Hot summer days, layer up for cooler days. Mm. Oh, I'm getting good. All right guys, so you knew that the camo had to make its face in this video. And if you thought otherwise, girl, do you even watch my channel? When Gymshark rolled out with the camo shorts, I almost died straight up, like almost had a heart attack. I love the camo shorts for a few reasons. These specifically, I like to wear when I am lifting weights, training hard, or like higher impact where I'm bouncing around. I personally feel like these shorts fit me as a higher impact short. I don't believe they're labeled as such. I think they're more of a moderate compression, but the way they fit me, my true size, I feel like they really hold me in. So when I'm really trying to get down and dirty at the gym, whether it's weight training or doing high intensity, these don't go anywhere. They grab and they go with you. I like to think that if I in fact did CrossFit, that these would be what I would wear. They even got that badassness to them so if you are somebody who's very much into crossfit and you need a pair of shorts i would definitely check out the camo seamless they're high-waisted they're nice and compressive and i think they really could work for you these are the definition of durable so girl if you are going for that pr deadlift and you just slap a little chalk on your shit by accident have no fear right these will hold up for you hey Ooh, nice catch. <laughs> yay all right guys, so you know that I love my biker shorts. I absolutely love them for many, many things. 
Cycling shorts are a necessity to have in your shorts collection as a whole, and I'll tell you why. Everything you've seen so far has been more on the shorter side, so I do love having a biker style. It's like a good seven inches in length in seam, so I do like to have some more coverage on certain days. Whether it's days I'm just like not in the mood to wear short shorts or days where I just need a little bit more coverage. These are good for even going for walks in with a t-shirt, keeping it very casual. I love running errands in this as well, but for actual training, I'm not gonna lie, I love to bike in biker shorts. I like the feeling of not jiggling around so much while I'm spinning. Cause think about it, man, you're going real fast. The legs are jiggling around, I know mine are. So I really like something that could just hold me in securely and keep me comfortable, man. I don't like feeling the earthquake quad all that much. Speaking of quad, they're really good when it comes to like the quad muffin. Out of all of their biker shorts, because they do have a variety, my personal favorite is in fact the flex because I like the fit. It fits like glovey dovey. It's a little bit thicker. I'm not gonna use this for high impact cycling at best. So I think this works for me where I need it. And I also love the fact that they come in so many different colors. I love the marl breakup and I love their blocky contour. I think it's super flattering and I think there's a lot of options for, depending on the color that you like. So yeah, I think my go-to when it comes to cycling shorts, flex all the way. Because even as cycling shorts, they still keep you feeling flexy. Mm, oh. Again with the catch. Almost got me there. All right guys, so last but not least, woo, you already know that the Speed V2 had to make an appearance in this video. I freaking love this color, first of all, I have to say. So I love the Speed. I've been actually getting into cardio big time now that we finally got cardio equipment at our gym. I love to run now. You know, I'm not saying I'm very good at it, but I love to run. So I do love the Speed because it's super lightweight. Most of this is just like a feathery drape over your leggies. I freaking love the fact that it does have a liner inside. It's actually a bikini style liner, not like the Speed V1. I loved them just as much. The V1 had full built-in Spanx, not bikini style. They were full like short Spanx underneath. They even came a little bit longer than the actual drape over it. These, I actually love their new and improved V2 because they're really like sexy and flattering <laughs> for like speed, fast paced, lightweight shorts. These are actually really freaking sexy. This is showing a lot of leg because the waterfall drape really has those cuts, those sharp cuts that show the side legs really well. So. I think you can really use these for almost anything. I mean, you could train doing all sorts of things in, but I really love it for sweating it out with cardio. This is really good for outdoor walks. You have a built-in pocket in the band, so you can keep it very light and airy and just on the go if you need it. There is no heaviness to this thing, so I really love it even on the hottest summer day. Like these would be my go-to when I just know I'm gonna sweat. These are a mid-rise. They fit me pretty mid to almost high rise, again, because of my short torso. But I do have to say that where it really counts around the band, you have a nice support. So even as feather light as it is, you do have that really durable band. So yeah, guys, running, running, running. Sweating your tush off. I mean, it is called speed after all, so they do the damn thing for me. All right, guys, so that was it. Those are my favorite Gymshark shorts for different types of training methods. We got you covered with running, high intensity, weight training, yoga, errands and walking your dog, like for crying out loud. <laughs> Gymshark's really good like that to have you covered in all active departments. As always, definitely comment down what your favorite shorts are. Which ones do you prefer from Gymshark and why? A gal can never have too many shorts. Again, a huge thank you to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video, and of course, thank you for watching. I love you guys so much, and we'll catch you next time.